Really? Why? That doesn't happen naturally. Why? I don't get it. What have we got here? Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday morning. It is the 27th of March. It's that time of year where you wake up in the morning, there's a little chill in the air, you put on a hoodie, and by the end of the day, you're in short sleeves and shorts. It's one of my favorite times of the year, it's spring. I've driven over to the Y Mills Community Lake, which is on the upper eastern shore of Maryland. We'll start over here. We'll see how we can do. So I like to fish different areas, especially within the state of Maryland. I originally grew up here on the Eastern Shore, grew up in the Salisbury area. Learned fishing from my grandfather, who would take me out into some of the uh, coastal bays down there in the, the lower part of Virginia. Uh, and, I, and I caught a lot of flounder, a lot of bottom fishing. I started to fish a little bit more in the Salisbury area, Leonard's Mill Pond, that sort of stuff. Moved over to Calvert County, to teach. Lived there for going on 30 years. I always enjoy coming back to the Eastern Shore because it's like coming home. Something toying with it over there. Probably a little bluegill, something like that. There we go, fish number one. What have we got? Oh, I think we got a nice crappie. Yeah. Not taking any fish home with me today. Well, we got a nice crappie for the morning. It's caught right over in this area. Is there a school over there? That's one. Nice size red ear. Yeah. Nice healthy red ear. Species number two. Fish number three. What we got? Uh oh. Third in the species. Third fish, third species, a bluegill. Take it every time. Take it every time if we can catch multiple species. Another crappie. Another? 
crappie number three. Crappie number three. Crappie number four. They keep getting smaller. It's right over here by this tree branch. Okay, so you've seen me catch three species. All sunfish so far. I've gotten crappie, I've gotten a bluegill, and a red ear. Make a guess right now, am I gonna get a slam? Am I gonna get a fourth species? Make your guess now. Oh my, okay. There we go, four species. Oh, come on, buddy. four species because that's a golden shiner. And that's a bite right there. My goodness, look at that. Well, we'll drop him in and we'll get this bluegill. I just dropped my bait in the water. Okay. So I got four species. Did anybody guess Golden Shiner? Maybe if you actually live here on the Eastern Shore, you would have guessed Golden Shiner. But I'm thinking most people probably pick bass or, or pickerel. Let me know in the comments what you picked. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I think this video is gonna be two parts. I'm 150 feet from the launch. I'm gonna put the kayak back on the car, and then I'm gonna think I wanna hit the the spillway for a little while. I wanna see if the shad are running. Might get lucky and get a new species today. So stick with me. There's one other thing I'll do today too. I'll grab that stuff since somebody put it there. That's a white perch. Wasn't expecting to catch that. Okay, so that's it for today. So at the stream, a couple of white perch and a bluegill. So I think that brings me to 11 fish for the day and five species. Um, technically not really caught from the same body of water, but you know what, five species in a day, I'll enjoy it. Loads of people out. You can't see them here. There's a couple people there. Gentleman putting his boat back on his trailer. We got people fishing the spillway. It's a great time to be outdoors and I love seeing people out there fishing. 
maybe I'll get a chance to see you sometimes. But until the next time, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share if you want. And until next time, tight lines.